many points, but uh, you can't register what a heart can do for you. Corey's the head of this team. Without him, sometimes we're lost. But he was in the game, the full game this time, and you see what happened. We came out with a victory. Tremendous job, guys. First national crown for Arkansas. Billy, I want to say one thing to Coach Richardson. When I met with you on Friday, you talked about the things that would be going through your mind when you won a national championship, if that was to happen on Monday night, specifically your daughter, Yvonne, who passed away from leukemia your second year at Arkansas. Well, I tell you what, as I walk out of here, I'll say that I say to her every night after a ball game, baby, we got you another one. And, and, and to me, that's a great, great feeling because she was such a great fan for college basketball. You know, you wanted her to remember tonight. Congratulations, you are the national champions. Nolan Richardson and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Scotty Corliss, nice going, Rose, guys. congratulations. And Pat O'Brien, seeing Roger Crawford on top of the goal, reminds me of a scene 11 years ago tonight when Kozell McQueen of North Carolina State was doing the exact same thing. I haven't seen it since. Back to you, Pat O'Brien. All right, Jim. Maybe he got her the big one. The players of the game, Chevrolet players of the game, Scotty Thurman for Arkansas, and Grant Hill for Duke. Back up here on stage, and Dean Smith and James Brown, of course. And Dean, what was your take on the game? A great game. Well, it was a great victory for an excellent Arkansas team, a disappointing loss for a great Duke team. I thought Tony Lang was marvelous. Uh, defensively on Thurman, Thurman couldn't make anything, and then all of a sudden, that last one he did. Grant Hill didn't have one of his best games, but even then, he shows what kind of player he is. JB? Pat, I think in a very general sense, Arkansas showed its ability to weather the storm. The storm, it's so often applied to other people in terms of runs and spurts. Arkansas trailed by 10, 48-38, with 17-01 left in the ball game. Went on a 14-4 spurt to tie it up, and of course, moved ahead. To me, that was key. A lot of things going on here. The President of the United States working the room. The Arkansas Razorbacks celebrating. will be back with the trophy presentation. There's the President shaking Calvin Hill, Grant Hill's father. We'll be back with the trophy presentation, and we'll hear from Mike Krzyzewski, Grand Hills coach. When we come back, stay with us. Has won its first ever national championship by beating Duke 76 to 72. Coming up next here on CBS, your local news, except on the West Coast, followed by the Late Show with David Letterman. Let's quickly go back down on the floor for the trophy presentation. It should be a good one. Here's PA announcer Frank Fallon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Butters. The chairman of the Division I Men's Basketball Committee will award the trophy symbolic of the national championship to the Arkansas Razorbacks. Well, first, first of all, I would like to congratulate both teams for not only their play this evening, but for their great play throughout this whole year. And now it's my privilege on behalf of the NCAA and the Division I Men's Basketball Committee to present to Coach Richardson and his Arkansas Razorbacks the National Trophy. We'll hear from Mike Krzyzewski, and we'll see the shining moments of March Madness. Stick around. You bet they're still celebrating here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Arkansas has won the national championship. We want to remind everybody as you watch them cut the nets down, and what a moment that is for those youngsters, that most of us move on to the Masters after this. And Thursday and Friday, late night highlights at 11.35 Eastern time. And on Saturday, of course, full coverage beginning at 3.30 Eastern time. Well, as we said last night, in this kind of a game, there's only winning and misery. There are no losers in a championship game. Mike Krzyzewski came up short. He talked with Leslie Visser. A game that delivered all it promised. Mike, could you talk about the game tied 77? Take us through the last minute and 12 seconds. Well, I thought we played really good defense, and Scotty Thurman hit a, hit a great shot right at the, clock, at the end of the clock. And, uh, you know, I thought both teams played that well, and 
you know, one team executed better. And it was a great game. I'm, I'm proud of our kids. I know no one has to be really proud of his. And uh, we fought all year long, and we put ourselves in a position to win, and we just didn't win. But I'm very proud of my team. You had a 10-point leader. Are they just bigger and quicker? What is Arkansas? Well, I think they wear you down, and uh, we got emotional. Uh, you know, they're not going to quit. They're, they're too good of a basketball team. And uh, we were subbing a lot to try to keep ourselves fresh, and they got the lead, and then we came back. They had a chance of kind of blowing it open, and our kids came back. And it was a great college basketball game. I mean, I, I don't think you can fault anybody. And uh, there were a lot of great plays by, by special kids out there tonight. And you know, I, I'm disappointed we lost, but I want to congratulate the Arkansas team on a, on a great victory. You said that you didn't want this season to end. Can you talk about what these seniors have meant? to the Duke program? Well, they, they've won you know, 118 games or so for us and uh, uh, put us in three national championship games. But even more than that, they've been uh, great kids. Uh, they've uh, represented our university in the best manner. And uh, I mean, I'm going to really miss them. I'm sorry that we lost and this is our last game. It would have been our last game anyway. But uh, the, the, the type of effort they gave tonight is what they've given me for four years. And I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, Mike. You had right. a tremendous chapter, the history of the NCAA. Thank you. Thanks. And a class act, that program. Dean Smith, you have 72 games to, to win before you pass Adolph Rupp and become the longest and the uh, highest winning coach. Year. You worry about it next year? Okay. Thanks for being with us. JB and I enjoyed sitting around talking basketball with you. Nice to see you, and I hope your golf injury gets better, and good luck on the links, okay? JB, nice to see you. Well, I have so well enjoyed it, buddy. The Godfather. Right. Well, another season of March Madness has officially come to an end on this first Monday in April. And as the jubilant Razorback fans head back to Arkansas and Washington, D.C., we salute Coach Nolan Richardson. Now, nobody can ever deny him the respect he claims has been missing through the years. Tonight, not only is he college basketball's coach of the year, he's coach, let's say it together, of the national champions. And thus, we bring down the curtain on this tournament. We hope you've enjoyed it. I did from this, the best seat in the house. But before we move on, we'd like to recall our travels on the road to the Final Four and the friends we've traveled with as we say goodbye to them for now. With our tournament anthem, one shining moment, Teddy Pendergrass does the honors. Good night, everybody. Tip. There you are. Good morning for you.
your life You're a shooting star All those years No one knows It's hard to work But now it shows That one shining moment You reach deep inside In one shining moment You knew you were alive To the beat of your heart The wind in your face It's more than a contest It's more than a race your best Cause inside you knew That one shining moment You reach for the sky One shining moment You knew One shining moment You will is to try One shining